let's show you uh, how simple file director is to use. This is WinClient, which will base, be based on your PC. It's using Active Directory, so depending on what rights you've got, what you can do, what you can't do, what you can see, what you can't see, it's going to know the permissions. It doesn't matter what computer you log on to. I'm going to give you an example of how an IGA company uses this. They've got seven stores. And those seven stores, they save their invoices. And if you see under document type now, they've got store invoices. They're saving them under name, supply name, year, week, whether it's been paid, not paid. So I'm going in here to search for something from Broadway. What supplier? I'm going to go and click on the supplier. I'm going to click on the Smiling Gift Company. So what I'm doing now, I want to find all my invoices from the Broadway store to do with the Smiling Gift Company. It's gone in and found two invoices. Once I go on and click, across the intranet it brings it up. This invoice here has had a sticky note put on it. That means there's been a revision made to the document. We can go through and see different revisions of documents. This is whether they're in paper format or electronic format. Full details of who created it, when they created it. Now you can go and view the doc document. So there's a date and time for each document. You have a full audit trail of what is happening. Each screen is adjustable and you can adjust it to what pleases you and how it suits you best. When you right click on the mouse, it gives you many options. In this case, we just want to be able to send it by email. This is going to convert this image, which has been saved as compressed group for TIFF, convert it into a PDF so it's easy to read the other end, send it to whoever it is that you're sending it off to, and there you go. How simple was that? Very easy. Tried and tested, used all over the world, and this is what people do. Let's give you another example. This time I want to go and search for Broadway. I want to search for a different supplier, Courier Australia. How easy is it to find their invoices? Just a click of a button. Now I've found all my Courier Australia invoices. Click on and up they come. Go up and blow the image up if you want to blow the image up so you can see it better. So easy. What about scanning? How easy is it to scan or import documents straight into File Director? I'll show you. First thing we're going to do is go and clear the fields. So we have no information in there. But I've got a group of documents. They're from Kareen and they're from a particular year and week. They're from 2009, week 45 and they haven't been paid. So these invoices that have come in, the person there is going to scan them, they're going to select their scanner, that these people are using the Panasonic scanner. Once the scanning window comes up, they've got different profiles that they scan under. They're going to scan under invoices, they're going to scan it scanning colour, 200 dpi. Once they press scan, you'll see the images will come up in the local documents under store invoices. So there's the images now scanning in. This is just a basic scanner, scanner 26 pages a minute. All of our resellers use different types of scanners, which you can with our director. Once you've got them in, the documents are there stored, ready to be checked in. So somebody's going to check and verify everything first. We're clicking onto edit. When we click onto edit, we can add the indexing that we want. In this case, this document is for Courier Australia. It's checked in. Next document, Imperial Glass. Click onto Imperial Glass, check in. Now as this goes through checking in, every company has different ways of filing indexing. This is just to give you an example. Well, every way you file in your business, we can set up to mirror it exactly the same. This is how they did it manually, we're now doing it electronically. But it becomes very, very powerful. Once that's filed and indexed, that's saved on the server, that's backed up. You are never ever going to lose those documents again. That's how easy it is to search for documents, to scan documents, to edit documents within File Director. Here we go again. I'm now going to find all of those documents from Kareen. I've said Kareen, all of my invoices from a particular week, and search. And bang, there they all are. Very, very simple. And that's what we want to do for you. We want to come to you, to your business, and show you with your documents how easy it is to file and index your documentation. But it's not just paper that we're talking about here. Anything can be saved into File Director. We've got Word and Excel, Outlook. When you see with all your Microsoft products, you'll have a new icon. This little icon in the top left hand side of your screen, it says send to file director. Down the bottom here, we've got a capture window. Depending on what rights you've got, where you can file an index, you can go in and send your documents off to wherever they need to go to and file an index. It's a set way of filing and indexing. So people won't be going into Windows Explorer anymore. Everything goes into your document management system file director. Here's an email. How easy is it send? an email into your document management system. Very, very simple. It might be an Excel spreadsheet. It might be a CAD drawing. It might be a PDF. Anything can be saved into your document management system. Hence why it's called a document management system. The whole idea is to get your paper and your electronic documents all into one place safely stored. 
filed and indexed. That's File Director. If you'd like to know more, please give us a call.